All right, let's get casting. This is how most green sand casting begins in getting some scrap together. Here I'm using an aluminium alloy wheel. Uh, I found these to be great scrap, really useful. The alloys really flow well into the molds. Now I'm just weighing all that scrap material. This is a good way of making sure you've got enough aluminium to fill your mould. There's a good feature in Fusion 360 that allows you to take your components and you import the material, in this case aluminium, say what they're made of, and it'll tell you the weight by calculating the volume and all the rest of it. So I'm just adding scrap. Now it's a good idea to preheat any bits you're about to add. And then after lots of that's done, we can dedross and then use our crucible tools to get it out. In this case, the upstand sort of got stuck to the bottom of the crucible, which is a bit annoying, but it's okay. Just using the hoop there, which I find quite useful to do the pour. I don't know why I was so clumsy there for the first bit of that pour, but you'll notice I'm actually really pouring quite slow and steady. Uh, that was obviously deliberate, and then in a minute you'll see the annoying leak out the side incident. There it goes. I didn't really realise it was happening till that was too late, and my attempts to sort of put pressure on that side, well maybe they helped, they did seem to stem the leakage somewhat but still a bit of uh, a pain. <laughs> and I'm fairly sure this is a fail, but I thought I'd video un unmoulding it. It's interestingly, it's even though it's been probably about four hours now, it's still warm. That's quite heavy. <laughs> oh, it's got pokey aluminium bits now too. This is the bottom of what was going to be the end plate. After a bit of clearing away of that sand, just using a wire brush to get out of the nooks and crannies and see what we've got. It's a visible go that way. And this edge is a complete mess. That's where it leaked out of the side. A little bit more leaking here and there around the side. And that bit there worked out quite well. There's a, just a little cookie of sand that was put in as the core. The surface, not ideal. See, that was the top surface when it was cast. And that's literally as high as it went. It should have come up here so, and that so that there was pressure and instead there wasn't enough aluminium even to fill this edge here which should look more like that edge I would say is probably what we can consider a exceptionally time consuming learning experience The one cool thing about this is it can be chopped up and remelted, so the material at least is destined for a new life. Uh, disheartening as it is, but still. It's a real shame it didn't work. It's, it's actually quite nice. That was where the circle divot was out of it. But in terms of like solidity, it's pretty damn strong. So hopefully some of you found some of that a little bit interesting or useful. If you're interested in this kind of thing, then go along to the Flowering Elbow blog post. There's a big article with information about green and foam sand casting.
loads more tips and tricks than I can mention in this video there. I uh, hope you enjoy it.